Excellencies, uh, distinguished uh, colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to address you on the occasion of um, the World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought. First, I would like to sincerely thank the government of Spain to host uh, this important celebration. Muchas gracias al gobierno español, sin duda. And I would like also uh, to congratulate uh, the government of uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Ibrahim Tiao, and the UNCCD Secretariat, and all the parties who made um, last month's uh, COP15 in Abidjan a success. One of the many positive uh, achievements from the COP was the Abidjan Legacy Program, which uh, encompasses uh, many aspects of uh, management of natural resources, landscape uh, restoration, and uh, social and economic uh, development. The Global Environment Facility is uh, a proud partner and will fully support this program as well as other relevant outcomes of uh, COP15. I attended uh, COP15 and it is clear that we must address uh, land issues in an integrated way with other global uh, challenges like uh, climate change, uh, biodiversity loss, and pollution. The vision for the Global Environment uh, Facility is the achievement of healthy and productive and resilient landscapes that underpin the well-being of human uh, societies. To this end, the Jeff has uh, supported um, the Sustainable Land Management Program since its inception to support developing countries implement projects to combat land degradation and especially desertification and uh, deforestation. Building on this uh, long experience and thanks uh, to the re uh, recent uh, record replenishment of the Jeff of over 5.3 billion for our next uh, funding cycle, the Jeff will increase its uh, allocation for the land degradation focal area to more than the $600 million in the incoming uh, next uh, four years. The land challenges of uh, least developed countries and small island developing states will receive a special consideration through an increased minimum level of investment and full flexibilities in their respected allocations. In addition, the GEF uh, will uh, invest in integrated programs to tackle the complex environmental problems in critical forest uh, biomes, food systems, ecosystem restoration, and nature-based uh, solution. Going forward, the GEF will be working to help countries set strong and coherent policies that prioritize a green, blue, clean, and resilient future. For this uh, future to happen, a particular focus on land is needed to recognize its multiple ecosystem services for society and supporting the sustainable livelihood of those who depend on them. The UNCCD is a critical ally of the global community to meet this goal. I wish you a happy 2022 World Day to combat desertification. Muchísimas gracias.